Good morning guys from Cape Porpoise, Maine. This is an old fishing village that's actually part of Kennebunkport, Maine. And today we're looking at a listing that's offered by Jennifer Walker of 207 Prime Properties. Jennifer was nice enough to let me come down here and film this property. My goal today is to give you an idea of what this property looks like, what the area is like, if you've ever considered Cape Porpoise or you're wondering what it's like because you've looked at other properties. In real estate, it's all about location, location, location. And this town is gorgeous. It's got all the charm of an old fishing village. I'm gonna give you a lot of detail on where this property is located. It's located right in the center. So you're walking distance to convenience stores and things like that. So that's very important when you're buying real estate, I think. You wanna make sure you know how far it is to things like the grocery stores, great restaurants. In this case, maybe downtown Kennebunk if you wanna to get to Dock Square and all of the restaurants that are down there. So I'm going to bring up Google Maps and show all of these things to you. I'm also gonna take you way up high in a drone and give you a bird's eye view of what the area looks like. And we're going to get after it right now. I just wanna point out where the properties are, guys. Right down there, there's a duplex and two small cottages. This is Cape Porpoise Harbor that we're hovering over right here. And in the back, you can see the marsh. That's where you have water access from these properties. And then from there, it goes out to Samson's Cove, which has direct access to the ocean. So what I wanna do is just bring it down lower and give you a view of what Cape Porpoise Harbor looks like. And we'll cruise by some of these houses so you get an idea of what it's like if you wanna go kayaking in here or just kind of cruise around in your boat. Okay guys, there's the entrance to the property right there. And this is another view. I just went back up in the air to kind of come in for a landing to give you an idea. You just shoot up that driveway and the three properties are in the rear. Here's a view of them. Cottage on the right, duplex center, and another cottage on the left. And over there is where you have your marsh access. If you'd like some more pictures of the property, you can always go to the listing and you'll find a link to that in the description down below. I just want to bring up Google Maps here for a minute, guys, and show you how far it is to certain amenities that if you decide to make investment properties out of these, your guests are bound to ask you how far it is to grocery stores and things like that. So here's Kenny Bunk Port, and you can see here's, you know, we're just entering Maine here, Portsmouth and Kittery down here. So if you want to get to Cape Porpoise, you're going to come up to Kenny Bunk Port, and Cape Porpoise is a fishing village, part of Kenny Bunk Port. If you want to know how big Kenny Bunk Port is in comparison, I'll just go like this. Yeah, see there's Cape Porpoise right there. So Kenny Bunk Port is actually a much larger town. So let's talk about how far it is from Cape Porpoise, specifically the property, to get to certain amenities. So for example, let's say you want to get to the beach, right? You've got, um, over here you've got, what is it, Higgins Beach, I think? Goose Rocks, there we go. Higgins Beach is in Scarborough. So Goose Rocks, if you want to get there, you're talking about an eight minute drive. Pretty close. If you want to get to the Dock Square, to downtown Kennebunk, you're going to drive nine minutes. That's where, you know, pretty much all the tourists are, right? Down there. If you want to get to, let's see, where am I trying to show you now? Hannaford's to get some groceries. You're talking about 14 minutes. That's in, actually in Kennebunk, which is a different town than Kennebunk Port. So 14 minutes to get there. If you want to get to the big box stores, like in Biddeford, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, and some of the chain restaurants, you're looking at about 23 minutes, 24 minutes. If you want to get to, let's say, the Waterhouse Center to play pickleball or something like that, you're talking about 15 minutes. And that's in downtown Kennebunk. If you want to get to, let's say, Agunquit, that's going to take you about 37 to 40 minutes to get to Agunquit if you want to hit a restaurant down there. If you want to get to the Sanford Airport, maybe you've got your own plane. It's going to take you about 30 minutes. If you want to get to Planet Fitness, if you really like that gym, then that's going to take you 35 minutes because that's in Sanford just a little bit further up here. If you want to get to the Portland Jet Port, yeah, it's going to take you 50 minutes, 39, well, 39 minutes, really depends on traffic too, guys. Uh, if you want to get to Boston, 
then that's going to take you a little over two hours or two and a half hours really depends on traffic to right time of day so hopefully that gives you a really good idea in terms of amenities and how far it is to get to things as far as the schools are concerned uh, Kennebunkport shares a school system with Kennebunk. All right, I just want to show you guys what the properties look like as you come up the driveway to see the three properties or four units. There's the duplex in the middle there on the right, cottage on the left, and there's another cottage right there on the right as well. So I want to cruise way up in the air and give you guys a view of the marsh, maybe cruise around there a little bit. I also want to point out that, you know, I made it sound like you had to drive everything from this property when I was pointing out all the amenities and stores and restaurants, but that's not completely true. If you want to get to a, a convenience store, there's one about a tenth of a mile away, so that's definitely walkable for a lot of people. And if you want to get to some good restaurants, same distance, and there's a, another really good restaurant at the end of the road, and that is less than a half a mile. I measured four tenths of a mile. so. You can get to some really great restaurants and a convenience store and the library for that matter uh, is very, very close by. So, you, And the walking in these neighborhoods, guys, because the properties are so well kept and manicured, everything is absolutely gorgeous. This is kind of like a retirement community for a lot of people. You're going to find that everything is just picture perfect. Tourists love to come down here and take pictures. Guys, if you want to learn everything there is to know about living in Southern Maine, click subscribe and tap the bell so that you'll be the first to know about the current market in Southern Maine. If you need some help trying to understand what's involved with relocating to Southern Maine, you can download a copy of our free relocation guide. You'll find a link to it in the description down below. Hey guys, I hope you found this video informative. Margaret and I love putting these videos together for you. So if you have a comment, please feel free to leave it down below and please be nice. If you are an agent and you have questions about the property, you can reach out to Jennifer Walker directly. Her contact information is down in the description down below. If you're a buyer and you're not already working with an agent, please consider reaching out to myself or to my partner, Margaret. We're realtors and we'd love to work with you as well. And until next time, guys, we hope to show you around town. Oh,